Hello the Tank Blitz, Herbert Pads here. I have a review for you doing you know, this new uh, British Tier 7 um, heavy tank. The FV201 A45. A45 sounds like something you get when you're unemployed, isn't it? Um, anyways, here, that's what opens up when you open up the game. This arse sticking in your face. Kablamo, like Jennifer Lopez or something sticking her arse in your face. Here it is, here now for sale. As you can see, it's 11,000 with all the slots open. It's about 35 euros. About 32 euros uh, without all the slots open. Why the fuck you'd want that? I don't know, because it costs you a fucking shitload of credits and that. But anyway, there it is. 11,000 and all its glory. Um, so, uh, let's go and have a review of this thing, shall we? But before that, i just say, holy fucking Jesus, how much money the war game went for? How many fucking tanks is this to be for fucking sale? It's like fucking houses for sale after 1,000 eight crisis. Just fucking blam, 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 coming on the market like that. So that's that's my sound effects for houses coming on the market. Blam 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 blam. So anyway, yeah. By the way, uh, the, speaking of Kate Moss, um, by the way, the arse is fairly flat, isn't it? it? Looks like Kate Moss in the bikini, but like Kate Moss, it does have a nice arse, I guess. Um, by the way, let me tell you my Kate Moss joke. Um, what did Mick Jagger say to Kate Moss when he dumped her? A rolling stone gathers no moss. <laughs> Made that one up myself, actually. Not bad though. Sure, not should be some. Somebody told me I should be on stage. Um, but I think that was because they wanted to throw things at me. But anyway, let's have a look at this tank. So, what well, I first thing I say about this tank is, right, it um, looks like the tier 10 um, FE uh, British medium, doesn't it? Looks like a smaller butter, you know, so you could be mistaken for things a medium or a light tank, but it's not, it's a heavy tank. Um, it has heavy tank armor. Um, it has heavy tank speed, but what it has is fucking, what a rate of fire, holy fucking shit balls. His reload is just over three seconds, so you could pump out the DPM. I mean, this has higher DPM than Tiger P or Tiger, which has got some of the highest DPM in that tier, so it's fucking awesome in that respect. It's just DPM monster. It's got amazing turret armor. Uh, as you can see here, we have a look at the profile, amazing turret armor. Um, it has this spaced armor on the side too, which is going to stop heat and HE shells for you. But if you can go hull down in this thing, you are going to and get up front in it, you are gonna just absolutely smash the enemy because the rate of fire is just fucking awesome. Um, so that's basically its main feature. The other thing about it is it is unusual looking tank. It is an unusual tank in tier seven. It is an unusual premium tank. So if you do have 35 euros, 30 quid, 32 quid, whatever it is, I mean, yeah, if you wanna buy something in the game, it's worth getting, isn't it? Um, now it says here that it's not good for peekaboo or front line or whatever like that. I would disagree. Having played it a couple of times, I think it can really go front line, especially if you can get hold down. You're just going to pummel the enemy and really intimidate them. And honestly, you know, it's like fucking, you know, native Indians in front of the redcoats back in fucking colonization times. Nobody wants to stand in front of that fucking firepower, you know. No cunt is going to want to stand in front of that and just get fucking smashed to bits, you know. And you're going to DPM everything, even like DPM monsters like the Tiger P and the Tiger 1 and that, you know. The Black Prince is the only thing that's kind of anywhere near to you, but it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the same ability as you. So, yeah, so it is a good tank. You see here we have our little uh, arse on it there, like Kate Moss in the bikini, as he said, just flat as fuck. You know, um, you know it's like a well smacked arse. It looks like he cuts arse off or something with a fucking jigsaw, isn't it? So, anyway. Um, I going up here. This is uh, something I often do in this map. I often adopt this uh, top uh, right uh, left hand corner underneath the waterfall. Uh, if you can get a tank with good armor in there, um, just for the snapshot there, my balls um, You can use the rocks to protect yourself. Get into a bit of a hull down. Just expose your strongest pieces of armor. You will do very well in this map. In this, in this, um, in this position. Um, I'm going to try to use this. Uh, I'm going to try to use this um, rock formation here just to expose my uh, turret, um, and I'm going to try to block some damage. As you can see, so far it is uh, working out relatively well. But just look at this rate of fire. Look at that. You know, 3.2 seconds. I mean, it is just. It's just phenomenal. I mean, for a heavy tank in tier seven, it's just phenomenal. I mean, look at this. This poor guy just gets fucking pummeled, doesn't he? He just gets fucking his ass handed to him. He's just trying to reverse there. Normally you'd expect to take one round from a single tank. And he just got fucking pummeled there, you know. And now he's reluctant to pop back out again. Well, good cause, because he the fuck wants to get that handed to him. You just get fucking, literally, that's just, that's a peddling. You know, so, um, yeah, so, uh, as you saw there, I just uh, put, I felt we put out too much there. You know, just sort of like a Essex car, just put out too much. 
Um, but again, look at this, I'm just going to destroy this poor KD here, you know, just round after round, just fucking pummel him. Now, the only thing I'll say to you is though, this is one of the first games I've played in this tank, you do get a bit carried away, you know, like you just stick your neck out just to fucking, just to keep firing rounds, you know. You see there, if you aim properly, the gun's pretty good as well over this, so there's a nice shot there in the comment. And then you take unnecessary damage, I found myself doing that, you know, um, just sort of, uh, you just sort of lose, uh, lose the run of yourself a bit, you get carried away with the fucking rate of fire and you just want to get back into position to fire again and take unnecessary damage, so I think a bit of discipline with this tank um, is what is required, um, but if you do that you are really, really going to do well in it, and you can see here again, um, another, another nice uh, shot there into that poor LIS, I mean I think I did the most damage now, the poor guy just got absolutely smashed, another shot there in the comic going over the hill, and now this game's more or less wool, it's just, wool, it's just a matter of what sort of damage we can do here just to finalise. Um, but this this tank is just it's just great, it's just intimidating. When you see it moving up on you, you're just like, oh for fuck's sake, no. It's like, you know, if you're in a fucking bar fight or something like that, and you know, all oh, your mates are fighting, they're fighting on the sides. Guys, and this thing is fucking thing that looks like a shaved fucking gorilla just pops up and he's like, and you're like, oh fuck. This thing is a shaved fucking gorilla, just fucking, it's really intimidating. And uh, it's just gonna fucking just do massive amounts of damage in it. So you can see there, that was a pretty short game. Didn't even I think it just lasted just over three minutes. Uh, I did like almost 2.5k damage, and um, you know it just it just it's just an amazing thing for that. You know it's just fantastic. Um, so as I said, get hold down, um, use that rate of fire. Um, you can go front line, especially if you're not if you're not up tiered. I mean honestly, you can really bully on the map with this thing. Um, and it's great tank. So anyway, let's have another look at another game. This is Himmelsdorf. Um, Himmelsdorf is a, if you go left in Himmelsdorf, this map will suit this tank and you'll see it right here because you can get hold down, right? You can get behind the piles of rubble and then you're just going to be fucking like, you're just like Jackie Chan in a room full of fucking unnamed bad Asian guys. You know, you are just going to kick fucking arse left, right and center. You know, look at this poor cunt here, like he just comes out and just fucking smash this poor IS. Now normally you think of an IS, oh, I can go front line, you know, I'm fucking fairly handy. You know, oh, I've got, got a nice turret armor, i got a nice front armor, I can go, I can go front line. Now with this fucking king in front of you, you can't be front. You are just getting this shit knocked out of you. Just, you know, even though he just gave me the sight of his, um, couple of there I'm just literally smashing the shit out of this guy, he can't even draw a breath and bam he's gone. I mean how long did it take to fucking clear that IS which is a big motherfucker right? I mean like if if you're not up tiered and you're into a seven and IS IS two, they are the fucking big daddies coming down on top of you, right? They are the big motherfuckers. Motherfuckers, mofos, big motherfuckers coming, you know, and this thing I literally just pummeled the fucking shit out of the park. Right? Um, now I'm again trying to get um hold down here. Show me turret. Uh, I don't really know what happened here in the game. I mean, I didn't have lag all through the day. I just got a bit of, I don't know, I think maybe the phone was overheat or something. I don't know what the fuck was going on. I mean, it was just like, it was like he fucking got epilep epilepsy or the fucking phone had got epilepsy. I couldn't make a fucking shot, but then it rectifies itself in a couple of seconds, so I don't know what the fuck was going on there. But this fucking um, J. Reeve was having a fucking charm life because I couldn't get any shots on him with the fucking jumping up and down. The hoopity hoopity fucking hoop. But you can see there, look, I haven't taken a single piece of damage. They've hit me with so many shots. I am just literally bouncing like fucking a Jippo bounces employment checks. It's just fucking, they're just incredible. It's just, you now he's making a run for it. He's had enough and he's just getting pummeled as well. There's some little fucker here behind me. Ah, little bollocks. Look at this little smurf fucker. Here, you fucking take that, you. Where the fuck do you think you're after? Oh, my friend, there's no escape from this motherfucker. Smash, smash, smash. Oh my god, I'm just like, I'm fucking having a field day in this thing. Sure, fuck, look at this, you know, like, oh, fuck, you're smashed again, my friend. You're fucking, like, there is just no escape. It's like a slow moving wall of fucking certain death, this thing coming at you. And another fucking one bites the dust there. It just, like, honestly, it just doesn't matter, like, what, what you're in front, what you're in, what kind of armor profile you have. I mean, even a Tiger P is going to get out DPM'd in it. It's just, it's just mental stuff, you know. I was firing a lot of APCR there. Um, now, firing APCR and not firing APCR, it's personal choice. Um, you know, to my mind, it's in the game, so that's what it's fucking there for. And to my mind, you know, I studied mathematics um, 
uh, for a while in college and it's about laws of probability right so if you bounce one shot an AP well then forget that's all the difference um, that uh, the APCR or, or rounds lose you've lost anything you would have gained you've lost so in certain situations we always for APCR especially if you're up against a big heavy monster right but I know others would disagree etc but you know that's just my own personal opinion and you know opinions are like arseholes everybody has one so you know feel free to disagree so there you go this is as I said, it's a great fucking tank. It's great looking and it's something completely different. It's fucking OP turret and OP rate of fire. Decent enough pen, hull down. It's a fucking monster. But look, if you don't have the cash or whatever and you don't want to spend the money, go for the Black Prince. It's something similar, you know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers now. Take care. Subscribe and follow and fucking all that shit. All right, take care and see you now. Bye, bye. Cheers, much. Cheers.